I recognize this is that some of the best decisions get made outside of the office and they get made outside of those four walls in the organization. I remember working at a company a couple years back and we were in Vegas. We were at a uh, leadership conference and um, we were doing an evening team builder. And of course it was very male dominated and I was one of the only few women. The outing, the team building exercise was a golf outing. So I, I remember kind of squawking at it, thinking, you know, I don't play golf, that's not my thing. But you know, after a while I got to thinking about it, and I thought, you know what, why not? These are presidents of different divisions. These are senior executives. These are people who are heading up major, you know, major units and, and parts of the region around the country. Even if I don't like golf, they won't know it. I'm gonna go today and I'm going to make, I'm gonna make uh, the, the room to get, a, get to know them. Good thing is that they were playing base, best ball. For those of you who are golfers, you probably know what that is, best ball. And they mixed up the teams, and so all of us got put on various teams. There were a total of six teams, and I got put on a team with leaders that I had not had an opportunity to really meet. Got a chance to spend some time with two presidents of various divisions, and we had a great time. They were willing to teach me because I was willing to learn. I was willing to take that risk and step out and do something that was very different. More importantly, I was willing to get out of my office and I was willing to do some things beside, besides trying to get a seat at the table. I was actually in a seat in the, um, the golf cart. And even a couple of times I must say that my ball was the best ball. Some of their balls went in the pond, a few of them went into the woods, and my ball was the best one. And so it was fun that day. And what I recognized was that there's a lot of conversations and a lot of learning that were happening on that golf course that day. I built relationships. We told jokes, we had a lot of fun, but more importantly, they felt more comfortable with me and I felt more comfortable with them. It built a bridge for me so that when I was able to go back to the office, I could have a different conversation. And now I have people who know who I am, who now have a better sense of what I do because I was doing some plugging there as well. You gotta have your elevator speech and you know, you gotta share some ideas. You gotta talk about some of your assignments, talk about some of your dreams, talk about some of your goals, talk about where you see opportunities in the organization and be a contributor. Just don't always think that it's gonna come because you're buried in your office and getting work done. So you do have to get out and again, make sure that you're taking advantage of some of those. It might be at the company picnic. It might be at the afternoon pub. It might be going bowling. Do some of those things. Be willing to step outside of your comfort zone. Get out of that boardroom. Do some drive-bys. Do some pop calling. Or sometimes just invite leaders out to lunch just because. No big reason other than to get to know people and allow them to get to know you.